to Ikea lately? I know, and I miss their meatballs. So go and get some meatballs. Oh, well, and while right. you're on your while you're on the second floor, walking towards the cafeteria where you can pick up your meatballs. I'm texting um, my wife stop. right now, IKEA meatballs as a reminder. Part part way part like probably three quarters of the way to the cafe and you have to make the entire upstairs loop, right? I, I, I um, love I love that you have the entire layout down <laughs> memorized. Well, I've been there like twice in the last two weeks okay. um so i've been there i guess on a weekly basis um but the actually three times um they've they partnered with the republic of gamers hey um, hey hey oh <laughs> yes oh so, hey, yeah the laptop Krause's laptop so <laughs> so they partnered with republic of gamers um and they have a whole gaming furniture oh. partnership wow. i will i will i will tell you it, it don't expect like four different rooms you know how like they have the the makeshift rooms to kind of give you a concept what the hell is this what is this it can it, it's so, a hand, it's a wooden hand it's a wooden <laughs> hand you can hang it on the wall and it will hold your controllers what That's you can creepy. put it tabletop and it will hold your controllers i want like, this <laughs> i would see, go go and check it out right because they are using them all over the place <laughs> Um, you can hold your headphones. Um, so you, they actually have, I would say like four or five different kind of room setups, um, up to like two monitor gaming setups where the whole wall is pegboard, um, super cool kind of gamer layouts, different ways to display, display your tech and kit, um, I thought it was very cool. And the other interesting thing was I felt like it was the one area where stuff was kind of what's the, the Ken, Kensington locks. Like, you know what I mean? Like the, the special locks that can go in, like get injected into like your laptop or whatever. Hmm. Um, because like some of the stuff is actually like real equipment to give you like most of the stuff in ikea is all prop furniture and fake tvs and it's like light ultra light injection molded plastic um a lot of their tech stuff was real um key, like light up keyboards not that they were selling that stuff but it kind of it gave you a full feel of of hmm. how you could um introduce this into your gaming tech in fact i want to go back and i think i'm going to pick up uh, their one, the pegboard thing. The um, glass door cabinet. God, I'm going to butcher the name up. Spell. Whatever it is. Yeah. But yeah. it has that pegboard in the background. Yes. I am digging that. I want one. Of, I want at least one of those for my office. And I think they, did they show. Yeah. So they, they also have LED light kits to run through that. I mean, they have a lot of cool, cool setup. They have like, um, like wheel kits for your um, for your PC. Like I don't know. I I just I was impressed with the amount of stuff they had and how actually cool it was from a gaming perspective. Interesting. So go get your meatballs. Get my meatballs on. Get my gaming on. It sounds like a plan Check to me. Out. I have a field trip. Ikea field trip. Everybody, let's go. Uh, happy meatball day. So so the three of you, if I just have a group text that says happy meatball day, that means it's go time. <laughs>